Finance Minister Matia Kasaeja led members of the Departed Asian Properties Custodian Board before the Select Committee of Parliament investigating the alleged illegal repossession of assets belonging to the Asians who were expelled from the country in the 1970s. The government started compensation for these properties in 1983. Committee members blamed Kasaeja for failing to call the board meetings to discuss the management of the assets, which has given room for their illegal repossession. The current Attorney General has never attended any board meeting. And when you look at the minutes, he was represented in the board meeting once. Would you agree with us here as a committee that it has been an anomaly, an anomaly from your side, and an oversight for non-ministers not to attend these meetings? You know, first of all, the board had virtually gone in limbo. My colleagues uh, whom I took over from, this matter of Kassan board was virtually a dead issue. The minister was tasked to explain the circumstances under which the former executive secretary of the board, Bernard Twesjiri, was sacked. Twesjiri, whose contract was terminated in 2017, confiscated documents of the board, including the seal, after he said he was never paid. He insists that he is owed over 1 billion shillings in compensation. Do you accept that Bernard, he has some entitlements, is demanding the board? I don't believe, because all the money that we at that time were new was paid, was paid to him. Do you have evidence as for that? Oh yes, we have paid. The committee has directed him to return the documents by tomorrow, Friday. I am committing myself I then had to message the for this honorable parliament to hand over the seal of custodian board to the, the parliament. Habad Ziwa, NTV at parliament.